Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brad. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Duel Links video. Welcome back to another Duel Links huge updates video. Um, obviously, we get these once a month, and I'm a bit late on this one. They came out when I was asleep, and I've only just got around to being able to record it. So, uh, hopefully, we can take a look at some of this stuff, because I haven't actually taken a look at it just yet. This is going to be my first blind impressions of these updates. Hopefully, there's some really cool things in here. We already know like one of the things going into it, uh, based on things that were data mined a while ago. So hopefully there's some worthwhile events in here. And I believe we're also getting an app update to 3.40. So I'm going to quickly check that out before we go into the updates because that's the more exciting thing. And let's just quickly see what's in here. So it becomes mandatory on the 26th of February, which means Steam will get it on that date. Updated contents, change the speed of replays. That's going to be incredibly helpful because Sometimes you do want to just speed up through the boring parts like of a farm video, so maybe for farming videos we have to include more decks in a video rather than just like having a really long like 10-15 minute video just bogged down by these replays, you'll be able to have them be a lot quicker. Uh, Time Showdown has a visual effect when activating. That's really good because sometimes you don't know when that skill is activating. There's a couple of other skills in the game I think that are quite like that. So the fact they're now two years down the line giving us this feature is really nice, just a nice little quality of life uh, update for that skill, which I don't see being played too often, but it must have been on their radar for a while now, so I guess it's pretty cool. And we're actually getting a rule changing, it appears to be. Mind Body to Shield is going to have a rule changing to make it so it is in the OCG that can now be activated during the damage level. Obviously, Duel Links is based on uh, the OCG rules, so this does make sense, so that I think makes my body as a shield a much more intriguing card and I don't know whether it will make it like super useful in today's metagame but still it'd be, it might be a nice little tech choice for uh, for certain decks so uh, that's actually really nice and of course we're getting uh, preparation for new events new features so whenever the update is fully data mined we'll probably end up getting some hints as to what could be coming in the future and there's also some issues to be fixed with grit activating it's uh, if a drop was skipped and also Preventing effect issue that prevents card effects will activate while a trap card is activated, such as Mission Dark Illusion, if the skill and the trap hell is used. That's that's a weird issue. Um I guess that kind of I don't know why I don't know why the hell that wouldn't work, but uh still good thing there on the ball and trying to update the game. Obviously, we do have Hasselbro coming very soon. But let's get in to the upcoming updates and see exactly what uh, what we got. So first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this definitely. Usually I'll have like it on full screen, but I'm gonna just scroll up or whatever. Early March, event exclusive legendary duels is coming to the gate. Charge is coming to the gate to get the skill parole as well. Parole was the skill I believe that let you, um, what was it? You, if a monster special someone from your opponent's graveyard, you could then um, banish it or something. I think it was a really, it was a really weird skill. Let me see if I got it here. Uh, return one monster special someone from the opponent's graveyard to your side of the field to their deck and increase your life points equal to the original attack of that monster and it's a twice per dual skill but once per turn so that's a really cool skill obviously that's best used in conjunction with things like um autonomous action unit i think or um what else or um go your guardian as well like obviously go your guardian that's a good thing to use it with so maybe just maybe this is a hint at the next box giving us Goyo Guardian because there's a lot of skills that very much focus around that card and this would make a lot of sense if we're getting Trudge now as a permanent unlock and then at some point during uh, March we'll get access to uh, that Goyo Guardian via the box. So that could be a little hint as to what's coming very soon. Next up, please be good, Duelathon. We just had the Duel Quest which was a, basically a Duelathon. I hope there's some good cards in this. Like, there's not a lot really to say about Duelathons just because we, you know, like, you either love them or you hate them. Like, that, that's kind of like my relationship with it. It's it's just kind of there, and if it's going on at the same time as something else, then I guess that's pretty cool. But I, I, I really don't know otherwise. I, I, I don't know that this... I don't like Duelathons. Like, just being like this event, like, treating them as an event, I think, is the wrong thing to do. They're a campaign more so than anything else. Like... I don't think they're an event at all, like, it's not something that should be really be all celebrated about um, or hyped over, so yeah. Early March, the second half of the Battle City event. Relief Battle City once again, take on Divine Trials to get Yemi Yugi's new skill. This event came around before, I'm pretty sure this did come around before, I'm sure we had two parts of Battle City. Um, 
If we didn't, then that's a Yikers and that's a new event, but it says Relive Battle City, so I'm assuming that we've had it before. It's been a while since we've had it. And Yami Yugi's new skill. Now, this could be something really brand new, or if you've been following on from the leaked videos in the past couple of days, we had this skill for, uh, or leaked, called Take It Yugi. At the beginning of the duel, add one Fiend Sanctuary to your deck. Now, obviously, this is in reference to uh, the end of the Battle City Finals, where uh, Kaiba gave Yugi uh, Fiend Sanctuary in order to have an out to stopping the Winged Dragon of Ra and Marek's Egyptian God card. So, this is, seems like a very likely candidate for uh, that skill, which is a really nice new skill, adding in an exclusive card to the game that we wouldn't be able to get. Otherwise, it's very similar to like the Aller of Darkness skill. That's kind of how I uh, how I look at these type of skills, and I quite like them. If they're like, obviously, I don't think Fiend Sanctuary is going to see much use outside of maybe you know maybe like an Egyptian God card deck. Maybe this is what they want us to do is for this you know for this final battle. You know, they give us like the event challenges um, in in the duel in the uh, Duel's Chronicles, like. Usually that it might be like summon Slifer, summon Obelisk, and then like that could be kind of cool if if that's the way they want to go down is because we all have those cards. If the, one of the challenges to get like all of your coins or whatever is to summon all of the Egyptian God cards uh, except for Ra, obviously. So that could be a really fun little challenge if they decide to go down that route. But a cool new skill if that is a skill that's coming, that's pretty cool. If it's another skill that's like Dark Magician support or you know Obelisk the Tormentor kind of support. I guess I know this is kind of is, but uh, oh, if it's more support for the god cards or whatever, more anime kind of themed skills, then I'm all down for it. I know I said in my uh, Q&A video that uh, I want skills to be um, a little more unique and not just like uh, add this card to your deck, whatever. But if it's a cool card that you can't get anywhere else, then I don't really mind. So uh, that could be a cool skill if that is it. But still, those Chronicles events are always one of my favorite events and they're very good for farming out for gems and coins and cards and stuff. So pretty cool. Oh, finally, thank god, mid- or well, not thank god, but still, mid-march, Ubel is coming back, unlock Ubel alongside new reward cards, and a brand new skill for Ubel. So I don't know whether we've got any skills in the game files that Ubel didn't use yet, so I have to go and have a look at that and see um, see what that's going to all be about. But this made a lot of sense, given that we just got Cerulean Sacred Phoenix Nepthes, which is a deck that very heavily combos with Ubel, and we haven't seen Ubel since, what, September? So it's been a very long time since we've had her in the game, and it's going to be interesting because she brought with her some really interesting raw cards. Not necessarily the best in the world, but some of them are really cool. And of course, she had uh, the Lure of Darkness skill, which was really nice. So I'm hoping her event is really cool. Uh, I really hope that they know that Yubel is this big character, this important character in uh, having a rogue strategy on the ranked ladder. So I hope that they give her some really cool reward cards, um, like two or three new things or whatever. And uh, that new skill, hopefully... I don't know what they could do, honestly. Like, they've got the Ubel skills, like, specific to, like, that card and that archetype on lockdown. So whether they go for more generic dark-themed skills or, um, or, like, what if she gets, like, super poly or something? Oh, what, what, what if she gets, like, a super polymerization skill? That'd be kind of nuts. I don't think she will, but, again, that, that might just be, like, a little thing to think about um, as to whether she could get something like that. But uh, maybe she'll get more copies of Ubel for us to obtain, uh, specifically of Terra Incarnate and the Ultimate Nightmare. Not that I'd really want anymore because I don't like the deck as it is. It's a pain in the ass to play against, but still, for new people, for people that want to build up that deck, that could be a really cool little reward they could give us. And again, I kind of hope that they don't stagger it out like last time. Like before, you had to like, challenge level 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever it was Ubel, at different times during the event, and to unlock like certain you know, pieces of the Ubel stages. So, um,. I hope they don't do that again, I hope they do something a bit different, but no, in Konami, they probably will just rinse and repeat the event, and that'll suck. Then, in late March, Duel Quest, I, we just had this, like, this event was better, I'll be honest, we had more, like, more card wars, we had uh, more opportunities to get tickets, I got two SR tickets and one UR ticket this time, compared to zero of both in the last one, so that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully they do improve that, because I think that they need to, I think the point of these events, like, if they want Duel Quest to be celebrated quite heavily, because I do prefer it to Duelathon, in some ways, then they do need to make sure that the reward output is good, not just 250 gems every 5 seconds, because that's all I got, and there's no real, or coins, sorry, 250 gems every 5 seconds would be amazing, but 250 coins every 5 seconds, and that, like, no one needs more coins. Like, I've got, like, 15 million or whatever it is there, so, um, we need either use cases to spend our coins, or reduce the coins, give us some other cool things, so that should be pretty cool. Um, whatever, then in late March, obtain a legend duelist, 
A fan fairy jigs character will be unlockable. You will kneel before my destiny, beg for mercy, and I might just forgive you. This is Sartorius. Finally, after so long of seeing him in the game files, of having the leaked date of like March 27th, you know, known to us since the 5Ds world, we're finally getting him. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a Doors Chronicles event like I thought it was going to be. I thought that'd be a nice way to kind of tie him in, but regardless, it should be a fun event to kind of go through and see what cards he has, because obviously with these GX characters, they have a lot more rewards than the 5Ds characters. They go up to level 45, I'd like to think. I'm pretty sure it's that. So uh, he could give us a ton of Arcana Force support, a ton of Fairy support. I think they're Fairies, if they're not the Spellcasters. They're one of the two. He gives both of those. His skills are the most interesting I think they're going to be. And uh, I wonder if he's going to give us the Dark Rune or the Light Rune. I can't remember which one it is that he uses as his Ace in the show, but that would be his Ace Monster. I hope they do give us that card because... That deck is a fun deck, it's not necessarily a great deck, in, like, it's all gamble, it's all luck based, so like, you'll probably have last gamble as a skill, but we'll talk more about that later on because I think I'd like to do a whole video speculating what we could get from uh, from, Crow from Crowler, from Sartorius, so that should be pretty cool. And then in mid-March we're getting some more updates as well, which is always nice, we haven't had these in a while. The level cap for 5 years characters have increased to 35, so there's 7 characters currently I think, what, uh, you say Luna, Leo... Kiza, Jack, Crow, and Trudge. So yeah, seven currently. So that's another 35 levels. <laughs> that's 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 very um that's very nice actually. They've uh they've 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 done that. They've made that a nice little round number. Uh based on the GX characters, that means we'll probably be getting two new cards, or one new card and two copies of it, and some gems and then some like uh, UR ticket, you know, like UR gems or gold or whatever. So uh hopefully they're worthwhile because this is the first time in months we've had an update, and of course we haven't had an update to the levels of the DM or GX characters, which I think they really should do. I think the next one is to push those to 50 maybe sometime in July or whatever, so just so you give people of those older gens, of those older series, uh, more chances, more cards they can get from their favourite characters. The auto deck feature will now project any cards from rank duels, that's going to make things so much easier. If you send my rank duel challenge or my auto deck duel challenge, then you'll know that they basically just choose random crap from like Ultimate Rising, and like just generic beta monsters, like 1850 monsters, so that's going to be a really cool feature there that they can add in, and um, it might be fun to go back to the Order Dual Challenge, I know we didn't do too well on the channel in the past, but with a new feature, maybe it'll be a pretty cool thing to try and like get a KOG with Auto Dual Deck, and it, it might actually be decent, because it might press Auto Dual Deck, and they just make you a Quacky Mero deck. I, I genuinely think that's going to happen. So uh, that's pretty interesting, and then again they're going to make one based on cards per three points deck, I don't think that's too important, but still, some cool updates, not the best month in the world, but Sartorius and the Battle City event are definitely the biggest highlights to me, Ubel, Ubel's new skill is going to be cool as well to see what she gets, so some interesting things, but not like this overly revolutionary month for Duel Links, let me know your thoughts, comment down below, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video, see you then.